Hello, my name is Elmar Vogt. I would like to give you a short presentation on the redundant industrial IT controller AC800F. On top of the board we have two controllers. One is the primary, that means the primary is running the process. The other one, secondary, is in hot standby, that means the secondary can take over if the first one gets problems. We can find that out if we look at the primary secondary LED on the controller. The green, the green one shows the active controller, the orange one shows the passive controller. Let's make an example. So I, I will disconnect the Profibus line from the active controller. And we see it directly switches over to the uh, second controller without any interruption in the Profibus line. That means no interruption to the process. So when the problems are fixed, I just reconnect the bus line again to the controller. And after a very short while, it is detected as healthy again. That means this controller can take over the process again if there is a problem. So worst case is for sure a complete power loss of the active controller. So for that, I will just disconnect the power of this controller. So you see it's absolutely dark no power at all. The secondary has taken over this one running the process. If there is a problem with the controller we just dismount all the cables, the Profibus and the Ethernet cable, the power, just dismount the controller from the DIN rail and send it to the service. Okay, then we take a new controller out of the box, mounting it at the DIN rail, Connecting the cables again, Ethernet, redundancy link, the Profibus cables, and at the end the power. That's all we have to do. The application will automatically be synchronized from the active controller to the new one out of the box. Controller redundancy is no special effort for engineering. That means you just do the engineering as for a single controller. Also, if you look at licensing, you just need a license for a standard controller. The only thing you need in addition is a hardware box with the same modules as the original controller. Okay, at the end, let me just summarize. Point one, no additional effort for engineering at redundancy. Point two, no additions license fee for a redundant controller. Point three, the perfect fit for applications where you need high availability. Thank you.